Hello, this is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorials, we create a website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. The previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely relevant for Joomla 5.2. The information from this video review remained relevant for Joomla 4 as well. At least this is true on February 7, 2025. In this video review, we will talk about JPageBuilder. JPageBuilder is a Joomla page builder, a kind of Elementor for Joomla. The component is designed to simplify page creation using visual drag and drop tools. According to information on the official website of the developer, the extension contains over 90 templates, 600 pages, 170 widgets and 109 add-on blocks. The extension work on Joomla 5, 4 and 3. JPageBuilder is a Joomla page builder with backend and frontend editors. Its drag and drop grid system makes it easier to design custom websites for users. If you have worked with similar extensions on Joomla, then it will be easy for you to learn how to work with Joomla Page Builder. Here on the developer's website we have demo. Let's see it. We can see we have this demo page. Also, we can get to the editor in front end. As you can see, we can edit almost all elements. There are really a lot of settings, so you can add all of them. You can edit any text. Here and in my blog post you can find some description of this extension. Also you can see some screenshots here and of course you can buy it. Let's go to my demo site. Here is a site with one page. Here we can see component J page builder. Here we can see the page that was created here in page builder. Also we can see J page builder module and we can see this is Joomla article. So here we can see all J page builder elements. For example, let's see the backend editor. I prefer use a backend editor, but it's something like old school because I'm building sites from 2008 or 9, I don't remember exactly, but I prefer just build sites in backend. But you can use frontend and backend editor. Here there are a lot of blocks. Also, there are a lot of widgets. This is ready-made sections. You can use them. For example, just move here. Of course, you can add it. Here you can see your media like images, video, audio, files and of course 
folders. This is Joomla image folder. You can use any of them. Each block had a lot of settings. styles and some preferences. Of course, if you're familiar with CSS, you can add custom CSS here. Of course, you can change any of these blocks. For example, here, just go to heading, add some changes, save it, update the page, and you will see the changes. Here they are. And of course, you can create new page from scratch, select some template and use it for build the page. Let's go to menu. How to work with menus you can learn from my previous video tutorials. And now let's create J page builder page select it from here update our site go here and we can see ready made page of course as i said before you can change any of this image text you can create some new layout. Let's go here. For example, let's add new section here. Let's add some image. Let's select our image. updating the page and here we can see our image. There are really a lot of settings. For example, here we can change any text. We can use our editor. How to work with this editor you can learn from my previous video tutorial. But this is standard Joomla editor. You can use any tool to edit the text. Also, you can add links, change phones, and so on. Here, in the JPEG Builder control panel, we can see some menus, for example, blocks. You saw it already when I create the page. You can disable some of these blocks if you want to. Also here in typography, you can manage your phones, you can add some Google phones. In my case, you can see I have add Roboto fonts. Let's see how we can add some other text. For example, just click add, just click select, add one style. Now we can see there are two installed Google phones, Roboto and Erlioson. Where can you you can use it? For example, here heading. Here you can change the font. Let's update it. And we can see I use the other font. Here in media section, you can manage your images, video, audios, files, and of course, you can manage folders in your Joomla folder. In category, you can create categories for JPEG Builder pages. This is something like categories in Joomla articles how to work with Joomla article categories, you can learn from my previous video tutorial. And of course, we have some configuration. We can integrate chat GPT with J page builder. For this, you need to buy chat GPT API key. Also here, 
we can enable catch, enable Google Phones API key, enable Instagram access token, enable open graph and adjust some other settings. Of course, you can learn about them from these tooltips and you can download documentation and read it. As you can see, there are a lot of pages. You can always read the documentation or just try to developers' technical support. As I mentioned before, you can create pages with JPage Builder just in Joomla articles. For example, this one, let's go to Content, Articles, how to work with articles, you can learn from my previous video tutorial and now just create new article. Let's call it, for example, JPEG Builder 3. Just save it. Enable JPEG Builder. Open Backend Editor. And, of course, you can select, for example, some of these templates. Just save it, close, and now let's go to menus, create one more menu, but not JPEG Builder, we create article, single article, and select our article. Update the page, and we can see our article, but with JPEG Builder elements. Of course, it's responsive. With JPEG Builder, you can get new template. Here it is, how to work with styles and templates you can learn from my previous video tutorials. But now let's see some settings. Here you can see this is template from JPEG Builder. There are some settings. You can change them. So you don't need to use default Cassiopeia template, you can use JPEG Builder site template. With JPEG Builder you can get not the component, but also module. Here we can see our module. You can add it with backend or frontend. Also, you can add new template, create some sections, and so on. Of course, JPEG Builder can be used for multi language websites. How to build Joomla multi-language website you can learn from my previous video tutorial, but now here in page settings you can select some languages, also you can add metadata, open graph tags, and add some custom styles. I hope this video review helped you understand the main features of JPEG Builder. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, this is Alexey, see you soon in new tutorials.